Earlier today, I put out a post saying that there would be two filler videos due to hiccups with both the Five Nights at Freddy's Progress Report and Storytime video. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Why? Because Scott has just dropped another character teaser for Five Nights at Freddy's 2020, in addition to Skill Wool providing an update on their website. So today, let's analyze the new teaser and see just what Skill Wool has prepared. What's up Gamer Nudes and Gamer Gals, right here, right now, we're checking out a brand new teaser as well as an update from Steel Wool on their website. So as always, if you enjoyed today's video, maybe drop a big ol' like and subscribe for more Five Nights at Freddy's update videos. For more content, consider checking out my other social media where I post daily updates and bonus features. Now without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So this teaser is very similar to the Glamrock Freddy teaser we received a while ago, except that this time we're focusing on a new animatronic, presumably Glamrock Foxy. So focusing on his appearance, we can make out a pair of shades as well as Foxy's signature ear. He, um, he has new ears. Uh, I mean, that's okay, because Foxy still comes in clutch with his ever-recognizable tail... Yeah, this ain't Foxy. If the reptile tail and difference in facial features didn't give it away, the image saves as Montgomery, a name we have never heard of in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. If we take it a step further and look at the metadata, it reads Glamrock Monty Poster, indicating that this character is not at all tied to Foxy. Now this might be a stretch, but I believe that this is the crocodile character associated with the green mask in the Happiest Day minigame. After all, the color palette is very similar for both characters, as well as the mouth proportions. Maybe I'm looking too into it, but who knows. Maybe this game sheds light on the rest of those characters. Switching gears, let's talk about the update from Steel Wool. This comes direct from their website, which I will leave a link to in the description. The post is titled Updates and Well Wishes, and it reads, we, like everyone else, are dealing with the current COVID-19 pandemic. Before this scary event, Steel Wool was incredibly busy on many projects, as you all know. We have spent the beginning of the week transitioning from studio work to having the entire crew work from home. It has been a challenge, but the team has stepped up and have been inspiring in how they have adapted with such a positive energy in such uncertain time. The world is scary sometimes, and we wanted to send a special thanks and good vibes to all of the Five Nights at Freddy's community. You have been inspiring and kind to us. We want everyone to come out of the other side of this healthy and safe. A big thanks, as always, to Scott for being a great partner. I say this over and over, but we're so thrilled we've been allowed the opportunity to be part, in a small way, of his incredible world. I want to refrain from talking about COVID-19 in this video, but if you'd like more information, you can find some links to websites in the description. I really respect Steel Wolf for transitioning to online rather than put designers at risk in the studio. It goes to show that their values lie with the employees rather than the money earned. An added benefit is that development on Five Nights at Freddy's 2020 isn't going on hiatus as the developers have transitioned to online work. However, I'd still anticipate a delay due to the change of atmosphere. It is also very wholesome to commend Scott and the community for the warm welcome, encouraging people to be safe. I don't know about you guys, but Steel Wool really seems like the ideal company to produce Five Nights at Freddy's going forward. Not only are they professional, but they're in tune with the developer and fanbase, ready to carry on the legacy of the game that stole our hearts. Here's to the future. So that just about does it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'm glad you guys and gals enjoyed the last news video. Before I go, I just want to mention that thanks to popular demand, there is now awesome Gamer Dude merch. So if Killer Jack in the Boxes is your thing, head on over to awesomegamerdude.bitcartel.com to purchase yours today. So what do you think? Are you excited for this new character? What are your expectations for Five Nights at Freddy's 2020? What is your opinion on Steel Wool? Tell me in the comments below. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and thank you for selecting Awesome Gamer Dude. I'll see you all back here soon. Goodbye for now, and have a fantastic rest of your day.